Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and I'm going to start off today's video with some exciting news. So I have finished two courses, I added to my education and I am now offering life purpose coaching. And this is um, a type of coaching that helps you know your intrinsic values and it also helps you feel a little bit more motivated with life and knowing a little bit about what more out of life that you want. Um, so I tend to see a lot of people feel really directious, directionless in life and I find it really helpful to, even when things get super discouraging, to have a sense of direction in your life and to have um, make a meaning and an empowered life. So I will leave my questionnaire that I created in the description box below, but I will get into today's video. And today's video is going to be on um, the category of purpose um, and what you actually want. So when people kind of come out of um, trauma or they start to go into more of a healing modality um, and create new habits within their life, they tend to really um, find themselves being not really knowing what they want because the old way or the old method of them um, going through life really isn't working for them anymore because they're now moving into a space of um, free will and what they actually want. So the things that they used to enjoy really they don't enjoy anymore or it doesn't have, um, it doesn't inspire them anymore. So the purpose of this life I feel like is to experience and to live out your intrinsic values. So when it comes to motivation, a lot of people don't really know what they want, especially when they're coming out of codependent relationships or codependency in general. Um, I find that most people in today's society kind of fall into the, these two categories. They could either fall into narcissistic tendencies and we're all on a range of a scale. And this just means that um, they don't have the capacity to have other people, um, their perspectives, their wants and their needs because they haven't gotten any of their emotional, physical or mental um, needs met. So they don't have room for anyone else or on the opposite spectrum, um, we have codependent behaviors, which basically means that I am, this uh, individual has created a trait that allows them to kind of blend in to um, people's wants and desires, and they end up losing a sense of self or identity. So when you start to work on these behaviors, you'll kind of end up coming into this grassland of, I don't really know what I want anymore and I don't really know how to be anymore. I think that's like a better way of putting it is that you kind of lose your sense of being. Um, you're not used to following like a strict guidelines or like um, this is how I am so I can get what I want. Um, you're kind of more in a space of you actually want to, you do things because you actually want to do them and not because unless of because you have to. Now, I understand that it's, t in today's society, you can't just do everything um, because if you, you do or you do not want to, but it's going to be more in a space of you do more things out of because you want to rather than you should. So when it comes to motivation, it's very helpful to know uh, what makes you tick or what intrinsic values that you have. So the easiest way to find your intrinsic values is what you don't want, right? So a lot of people are more geared towards um, community or being social or um, money or success, status, um, having um, the ability to know um, like, what, how you feel loved or appreciated. Those are things that are more of an intrinsic value. Um, like examples could be wellness, um, stability. It could be appreciation, love. If you have an intrinsic value of humanitarianism or um, autonomy. Some people have an intrinsic value of um, being um, like 
giving information or learning information. So these are things, intrinsic value just means that you like doing them for the sake of doing it versus um, external validation or external values are more, I do this um, and I get um, like a visual consequence such as money or fame or appreciation, right? So when you're coming out of these traits, these codependent or narcissistic traits, and by the way, we are all kind of on a scale, no, like nobody's um, either or, um, and that can change within uh, patterns just because we currently we live in a society where it's just very difficult to just be as a person. So um, living through your values is something that is going to be a practice. Also, it's very helpful to point out when it, if you're a person that's struggling with motivation or knowing what you want, is if you know what you don't want, then you're gonna know what you do want. Um, so some people are more geared towards um, facts or math or um, kind of more in a space of um, being more in a space of like science um if that's something that really doesn't fit for you then you're gonna know what's the opposite of these things or or what do i and what about these things that do i not enjoy also i would like to point out that some people and their personality traits um or it depends on dopamine levels and serotonin levels will also depend on the motivation. Um, motivation is um, has a lot to do with not only intrinsic values or doing things um, for the internal factor, but it also depends on how much dopamine or serotonin that you have. So if you are going to be a person that works all the time or does a lot of things that you really don't want to do or have a lot of should be doing, um, chances are you're going to feel extremely burned out. Um, so it's going to be harder for you to find the motivation to do it. Um, so this will depend on, again, how much dopamine or serotonin levels you have. And as you get older, um, depending on if you have kids or how your social life or married life is, will depend on how many things that you feel kind of like you have to do. So my second um, point in this video is how many things are you should, are, do you feel like you have to be doing or should be doing? Um, this will zap a lot of intrinsic value or in uh, the intrinsic motivation right out of you, right? So of course if you want to live in modern day society, you're going to have to live, most of us will have to get a job of some sort and have money, right? So if you don't, if you feel like you have to um, always like play a role of being the provider or you always have to feel like you should be doing something um, in terms of roles or conditioning, that's also going to zap the internal or intrinsic energy right out of you. Um, Conditioning and roles really plays a factor in motivation when you're not playing it anymore. So what I mean by roles is um, growing up or in a certain environment, we are taught to play a specific role. And this could be a variety of a perfectionist, a good student, um, beautiful, caretaking, motherly, um, tendencies, maybe it's I'm the provider or I'm the workaholic or something that you have learned from uh, environment. So in order to be able to fit into this environment, you, most of us either have to uh, deny what we are asked to be doing or and not have any sort of connection and it make it very more difficult to get our food, water, shelter, emotional uh, love, or we have to fit into this role that we play, which is um, a lot of women come into this sacrifice, caretaking, 
uh, role or and a lot of men feel like they have to come into this role where they're the provider and the protector and they don't have any other sense of direction in their life so this can be a portion of your life but it's not going to be the entirety of it so when it comes to doing things that you should be doing um, and feeling like you have to be doing them eventually you're going to get burned out from it um, if it's not from a space of in, like an internal value so it's very helpful to play into what would my life look like if I wasn't solely playing this role because eventually as you start to progress and heal within your life you're going to want new things and you want to your, your desires are going to kind of expand and you're going to find yourself um, feeling kind of bored um, so if you find that you are kind of stepping out of that role either two things are going to happen you're either going to create an addiction of some sort of coping mechanism where you're forced to stay in this role or you're going to try new things to find a new way of being or be more of a genuine person so genuineness um, is just a, a nice word of saying that you live a life that you um, find to be a reflection of who you are as a person. I guess that's the best way I could describe it. So it's going to feel more of a spacious um, life and it's going to have more opportunities that are more pleasing for you. Um, like I said, we live in a society that is just really difficult for people to just be. So this is a practice, I think, that we can all agree on. Like, um, I was, um, I think a lot of women can attest that um, sacrifice and like being like the sacrificial lamb and being like the caretaker is something that a lot of women are taught because we are taught that um pain it's a social it's basically saying if you're not in some sort of pain you're not doing enough um so i like to kind of move that into a space of okay why well, if i don't want to be in pain anymore what else is more motivating for me why well, find um like inspiration or love to be really motivating. So you'll have to find other things that are an intrinsic value of yours to find the motivation to create the life that you want, right? So um, thank you guys so much for listening and I really appreciate each and every one of you. I do find it really difficult to come online because um, I'm very shy, so uh, I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see you soon. And I will leave my questionnaire that I created for my life purpose po coaching and my um, heart-based coaching as well in the description box below to see if I'm a good fit for you. And it's just several questions to see where you are in life and how I can be a, an assistance to you. So I love you, and thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video.